Previously on Ditterman Mode. I guess he wasn't too happy with the way he died because he had a mental breakdown on stream for an hour and then a bunch of fake, racist Twitter account incels tried reporting me on Twitter to Jagex to try and get me DQ'd from the tourney. Now I know for a fact I'm not going to get DQ'd because here's the exact same thing happening to me on the Rev Case single release where I'm meant to be in single and I die to a bunch of people in multi. I never got my ship back and not a single person who did that to me got any punishment. There's a ton of issues in the game that are known about or not known about and it's absolutely not my fault that Jags don't code their game correctly or test anything before they release it. Tons of other people in the 20 do stuff like this and nothing happens to them. They also fixed door jamming years ago, but here's a clip from this exact same tournament of someone dying to a door jam, yet none of these guys are getting punished either. Cry is free, gentlemen. Let me get a glass and fill it up with your tears. Welcome to Ditterman Mode. Whew, it's a new day. You know, let's go on. Let's do some PKing. Oh, damn. Well, GG. So I guess they're doing that thing where they make an example out of someone without having any way to figure out who else is abusing the multiple bugs in their game or taking action against them. Fair enough, I guess. It's actually a bit of a blessing in disguise because I was planning on resetting my account anyway so that I could get Augury and Rigor as I didn't initially plan on having them on this account build. But as all the PKers are in this build, I want to have Augury and Rigor as it's just way too strong. Um, someone also sent me this leaked picture of what the people who are trying to get me DQ'd look like. And I straight up couldn't believe my eyes. Anyway, it's going to take me about two and a half minutes to make a new account, so let's get into it. So if you guys were curious about the bug abuse, I might as well tell you guys because if I do it again, they'll just ban my new account. So basically when they released this dead man, they changed a bunch of previously multi-spots to single combat. And one of those places was Barbarian Village. However, all the tiles here still have the PJ mechanics of a multi-tile, even though it's single now. And basically that means if my friend was getting attacked here by a PKer, I could come and still PJ the PKer off even though it was single combat. Now, I want to show you something else I found out, but I never actually abused. So here's me, just chilling in the middle of Barbarian Village, where they supposedly changed everything to single to stop marauding clans, or whatever the term is, I don't know how to say it in English, bro, I'm gonna be honest. But, as you guys can see, single combat right now. But if I hop worlds, isn't that crazy? All of Barbarian Village is still multi, it just doesn't show it if you run in there from a single area, but if you hop into the world, it will show the multi icon, and trust me, this is all multi. I haven't used this for anything, but it is absolutely hilarious to me that two weeks in, I am the one doing the QA testing on Deadman Mode, finding out this. I don't know if any of the other spots are like this, but the supposed barbarian village being single? Yeah, it's not the case, Jax. New account, let's see how fast we can speed run this. We're gonna start off with some bug abuse uh, to get us going. All right, I'm gonna be picking the Sigil of the Menacing Mage for us because I think that I will be Bursting first, it won't really matter. I can trade for stuff later, but I want to start off with some bug abuse real quick. So I'm gonna get a bowl, fill up the bowl with some water. All right, and this is a bowl of hot water, and this is exactly how we're gonna bug abuse to get us some starting GP. I actually didn't record my bug abuse. Well, I just sold the bowl of hot water for eight mil. Not actually bug abuse. I just there was no bowl of waters being traded on the GE, so I sold or I put in a buy offer on my main account with eight mil GP, sold a bowl of water for eight mil. And then I bought a Sigil of the Skiller and a Sigil of the Supreme Stamina. The Sigil of the Skiller gives me times to experience in basically everything. And the Sigil of Supreme Stamina just gives me unlimited stamina. Two more cash to work with. Um, let's go rush this account real quick. Shouldn't take too long. All right, the first thing we're going to go do is go get our prayer level up. We're literally at level 3 with 10 HP, but it's not going to matter because we're on protection. All right, double XP bones. I wonder what level 27, will get, 27 bones will get me to. All right, one inventory has gotten me to 61 prayer. I guess we can go quest now. I'm just going to go die real quick. Okay, I quickly want to get 25 mage because I forgot to get a Varok Telly and I need to buy a games necklace and rope to go do, uh, what's it called, waterfall with. So that'll literally take us like three seconds, so let's just get it real quick. Alright, we got 25 mage, going to Varok, we're just going to go buy a rope and some games necklaces and we're going to get started on waterfall. Okay, having prayer for this bit actually means that we don't get one hit, which is amazing, I don't even need to bring food. Alright, put on the prey melee, don't get one hit by these spiders, life is good. Alright, and this should be Waterfall Quest done within 22 minutes of the new account. I want to see this XP drop. 60 stats, damn. Jeez, we're at level 50 now. Just like that. Alright, quickly just going to go get the smithing requirement for Taurus Trap as that's the next quest we're going to do. Alright, 20 smithing, that's all we need. Didn't even need all the bronze bars because of this skiller relic, which is really nice. Nice, 10 fletching? Alright, let's go start the Taurus Trap now. We're literally like less than 30 minutes into the account. I just wanted to say a big thank you for the 90k subscribers. We've become a bit of a villain this Deadman Mode, and I'm perfectly fine with that. The support from you guys has still been insane, and I would really like to make a push for 100k by the time the Deadman finale rolls around. So if you guys wouldn't mind spending the 2 seconds to check if you're subscribed, I really would appreciate it. Anyway, let's get on with the vid.
All right, quickly want to get 40 range so we can do Temple of Icol. This should be really quick with the relics, and I have the Dorgy Crossbow once I'm 28 range too. 28 range, still got 34 minutes of protection. We should be able to get the 40 range and finish with Temple of Icol before uh, our protection's over. That is 40 range. Let's get out of here and start doing Temple of Icol. You longbow OP. Couldn't even buy you shortbow. Let's carry on. Damn, get smoked out, Lucian. I don't know what range level this is going to get us to, but Temple of Icol completed. We're an hour six minutes in. 62 range. Not going to complain with that at all. All right, I'm just quickly getting 10 agility so I can go start the dig site. I've only got 12 minutes of protection on me, and I've got 1.6 mil cash. So after this 12 minutes is done, uh, let's not die for this, please. All right, I've been low alchem while I've done these quests. We're an hour 12 minutes into the game, or what is it, an hour 13 minutes? And we've already hit 55 minutes, so we can keep high alking now. I'm still doing the dig site. The protection is officially about to run out. We're about to hit 62 mage. Um, if anyone suplexes us, not gonna be fun. We have 1.6 more cash on us. The dig site completed. An hour 30 game time, and all I have to do now is, what's it called? Death Plateau and Troll Stronghold. I'm now doing Death Plateau or Death Plateau 3 at this point, but um, ha once again, we can just get one hit for our 1.6 mil in the back, so huh, hopefully that doesn't happen. Okay, and this should be Death Plateau completed. Nice. Let's start Troll Stronghold now. All right, and this is Troll Stronghold completed less than two hours in, and we have completed all the pre-quests for Desert Treasure. We're just going to go get the skills right now. Uh, 10 Slayer and 50 Fire Making, and we can start very, very quick. The Slayer requirement done. 33 Slayer, 33 Hunter. Obviously, that's the sigil of the skiller coming into play there. And now we're just going to get 50 Fire Making. Okay, and that is 50 Fire Making. All the DT requirements done in two hours and three minutes, to be exactly. Um, I'm 36 HP, so I'm going to go get a D skim and train my defense while also training my HP. So maybe I can get the immunity from level 70 combat before I do DT because I'm 36 HP. I don't want to get one hit. I'm just getting 30 smithing right now because there's actually no steel bar selling on, what's it called? The Grand Exchange. So I'm going to have to make them myself, you know? What can I say? I'm a smither. I think this is how you do it. Hopefully I don't make iron bars. Please work. Please work. Steel bars? Oh my god, I'm a mathematician, bro. I'm actually a mathematician. All right. Nice, we're just going to do this, then go get 70 combat, and we'll start DT. I just got nine def 12 defense and like two hits. This should be pretty quick. I'm already 59 combat. All right, I'm 70 combat, and I'm like 1.3k defense XP off 71 combat. I'm just going to go buy the rest of the stuff for DT, get the level, and then we'll have an hour of immunity to use. All right, we're ready to do DT, so let's quickly get this last defense level. Is that it? Okay, no, we need to do another hit. Come on, I need to find a man to kill. Sorry, it is what it is, boys. 71 combat? Yes, okay, now I need to hop to another world. And we can start DT. Let's go. All right, finally did it. Didn't even bring anti-poisons because, you know, we're built different. Oh my, okay, we really need to get some food and an anti-poison. <laughs> All right, this is the first diamond done, which took me like 20 minutes longer than it should have because I kept forgetting items because I've been watching streams and just being in war and I don't know. I'm a waste of space, but I'm Alkin as I'm doing it. So I'm already 75 mage, which is really nice. First diamond done. I think I'll go do Desus now because if my protection runs out before I finish DT, that's like the most place I can get caught lacking, I think. I don't know. All right, that's the Sue Stone, which is our second diamond. We just have to go collect it, obviously. All right, Blood Diamond collected. Let's move on to the Ice one. Okay, I guess the fact I'm already 80 mage three hours in helped quite a bit with that, because that was easy as piss. Um, last diamond to go collect. Oh, no, we got to go get this one, and one more diamond, and then we're done with DT. Some trolls killed, some camels destroyed, and we have our third diamond. Let's go get the one from the Smoke Dungeon, I think. Fourth diamond collected here. We're almost 81 magic as well. We are, what, three hours, 27 minutes into it. Let's just go finish uh, DT now. Go handle all the things and, and hopefully not die as soon as we teleport into Duel Arena. Hover in the telly. We're good. All right, let's go handle these diamonds. Bro, I just got attacked by the stranger. Chill, fam. I'm 43 HP. Peace out. All right, and that is the whole, what's it called, pyramid completed. We are three hours, 34 minutes into this account, and Desert Treasure is officially completed as well. Gonna give us some nice mage XP too. Probably get us to 86. Awesome, nice. 86 mage, haven't even bursted yet or anything. DT done, three hours, 34 minutes into the, three hours, 34 minutes into our account. That is probably the quickest DT completion ever. All right, just quickly getting the 20 crafting requirement for Shiloh Village, and now we're gonna go get the agility requirement. All right, that's 35 agility. Let's go do, uh, what's it called? Shallow Village? Just safe spot it, get in some more mage XP. Three of these forms to kill, and then we're pretty much done with this quest. All right, and this should be Shallow Village completed. Some crafting XP out of that. Now we can go do one small favor, I'm pretty sure. Unless there's any other requirements I need to do? I can't remember. Are we good? Oh, okay, I need to get literally one more agility level. Nice. All right, just got 89 mage, still alking. Hopefully, we'll be 94 by the time we're all done with this, but uh, we're just going to go start with one small favor right now. Just got 90 magic while alking. We're still doing one small favor. All right, and that is 91 magic. Uh, five hours, 12 minutes game time. 
Alright, that is one small favor completed. 200k agility XP. Don't mind if we do. That gets us to, what, 58 agility? Nice. I'm gonna put this one on Slayer, then. That gets me to 57, so I can use Broad Bolts now, too. Alright, that is Black Knight's Fortress done. Please don't get one hit teleporting into Camelot. Okay, we're good. We're still 50 HP, just running around with one mil in the bracket with the most PKers, and nothing's really happened to us, so life's good right now. We're gonna go do Murder Mystery. Okay, and that is Murder Mystery done. What is our crafting level now? 51, not too bad. Let's go get started on Holy Grail, I'm gonna say. I wonder if this guy knows he could literally one hit me. Like, literally one hit me for one mil right now. Well, he doesn't, otherwise he would have done it, I reckon. If I knew that, and I saw level, what, 77 behind me with 50 HP, and I knew they had one mil in their inventory, I'd definitely go for the one hit. But yeah, it is what it is. Let's carry on. All right, we just got 92 mage. We're going to be done questing with Barrage. All right, and this is Holy Grail completed, which is going to give us some defense and prayer XP. Gets us to 70 prayer just like that, and 69 defense, the sex number. All right, King's Ransom and DT completed in six hours. We're now 93 mage as well. Just going to go do the Knight's wa Waves training round real quick. All right, these are the stats we're going into Knight's Waves training round with. 60 strength, 62 attack, 80 defense. Very skewed stats, but hopefully it goes all right. Okay, and that's the Knight Waves training ground done. Jeez. 74 attack, 83 defense, 73 strength, 72 HP now. Our HP level is really lacking compared to our other levels, but it's all part of the plan, trust me. Oh my god! Bro, I tallied right in time. Oh my god. I had a sneaky suspicion, dude. That guy was level 99 in Mystic Hats and shit. Just chilling at the Dwarf Cannon. And I was like, bro, this doesn't look too good. But I went, and then as soon as I saw him switch, I instantly hit that telly, bro. Fuck that. So the reason I did the Dwarf Cannon is so that I can train my range without training my HP XP. And my account is going to be low HP, but it's actually going to be much more stronger than any other account. All right, that is 78 attack. We're basically done with melee training. When we come back here for our defender, we'll lock our XP. Just going to go get 70 pray 77 prayer and do my Mage Cape 2 now. And then we're going to go max out our range and our mage. All right, we're going to go suicide run some bones at the altar. So hopefully we don't die because we literally have two brews on us. If anyone sees us, we're dead. That is 77 prayer. Um, 97 combat still. Let's get let's go do Mage Cape 2, I guess, while we're doing risky shit. Fuck it. Do Mage Cape right now. Hopefully we don't get rushed and multi or anything. Should be fine, honestly. We're deep in. I don't think anyone's really camping Mage Bank at this point. And that is 94 Mage. We haven't even thrown a burst or anything yet, but we can already cast barrages, which is nice. I'm just unlocking the spells for Mage Cape 2 now, and then we'll go do it. Alright, that's all the spells unlocked. I actually did just see a guy here, so I have been scouted doing this. The hope is they don't want to kill me, because he logged out too. He was doing Mage Cape 2 as well, but... I mean, if he's in an enemy team, he's definitely called someone to come kill me, so... Uh, YOLO? We're just gonna go keep doing it. Fuck it. Alright, I wasted half my inventory trying to find this little TOB raid boss Sardoman guy. But we've got- Oh! No, no, no! No, chill out, Chaos Ellie. I don't like the look of that. No, please stop. I'm 30 HP. Please stop that now. Stop that right now. Run away. Alright, that's our second mage cape done. We'll just- Or our second heart done. We'll go YOLO the other one now with, like, three bru three brews left or whatever. 76 HP there as well. I'm literally dying though. All right, that's 95 magic right there as well. Very, very nice. Four more levels off max mage. All right, don't get one hit on entry and then we're done with the mage cape too, please. I got scouted like three times doing this, but hey, we're alive. Life's good. Mage cape two done. Life is very good. Let's get the gothics imbued one as always. Well, not as always, but just for now. Woofed. Now the comments about my mage cape one can stop. Let's go. All right, I'm going to buy my cannon right now so that I can actually buy cannon, train my range and alk at the same time. So I'll be getting my range up and my mage to 99, hopefully around the same time. All right, I'm going to set up here. I literally have six brews and one shark in my inventory. I don't really think anyone PKs here anymore, though. So should be good. I don't know what the most optimal place to set up my cannon is or anything, but I'm going to just set it up here and start alking and hopefully life will be good. Is life good? I need to, I need to stand behind something so I can hit more than one thing. Um... And then, yeah, is life good? Let's see. Life is good. Okay, and this is 99 mage. I've literally just been sitting here alking while my cannon goes off. 99 magic right there. We're on 81 range as well. We're going to get that all the way to 99 too. Nine and a half hour playtime. Maxed out mage with DT and Piety done. Maxing out range now. So this might be the most dead man mode-esque series of events ever to take place. I was go running to Chid, and I see this guy behind me, and I assume he's coming to kill me. And I go, yo, are you here to burst? And he's like, yeah, I have 3k sacks on me, so I guess I'm here to burst. So I'm like, alright, let's be friends. And we be friends.
This guy actually just sculled up on me. Are you dumb? Is this guy dumb? He's playing range too. The skeletons are gonna kill him. I don't know if he's dumb or what, but I'll happily kill you, bro. I will happily kill you. Welcome to DMM. Oh, there's no way this guy wins this fight, by the way. There's literally no way. There's literally no way. I'm 96, I'm 95 range. And you have burst. Yeah, now you're in your robes too. Bro, this crazy guy is gonna die to everything. Bro, the skeletons will hit you, my man. Crazy noob. Crazy fucking noob. What an absolute noob. What a noob. Oh, no way. Something hit him. Something hit him. Okay, he's gonna be on. Okay, he doesn't know that when he runs away, I get frozen. Or I get unfrozen. Welcome to DMM, my friend. No way, dude. Noob. <laughs> You're bad, shush. You hit me. I was literally in the caves with this guy. And I asked him if he was here to burst. And... Oh, wow. Okay, he said that he had 3k sacks, but... <laughs> Either way, bro. Welcome to DMM. Welcome to DMM, my friend. Troy, bro. So that guy was not there to burst. He was there to PK, and he tried PKing me, but I ended up PKing him. And if you think the story ends there, it doesn't. I thought he was the noob. Turns out I was the noob. I go back to Chittig, and I get jumped by, I think, his actual friends. Not me, his supposed friend. Okay, and I'm finishing the account right now, less than 13 hours in. Obviously, it would have been a lot quicker if I didn't get killed at Chins. But that is 99 range. We're basically sort of like the account build we had before, except now we have 99 range instead of 90. We're going to go unlock Rigor and Augury, which is going to be so much more stronger. Our previous account build, there was absolutely no way we could get Augury and Rigor without leveling up, just because of the way the prayer levels and the combat levels was. And we've given up a little bit of strength levels. I think our last account was 76 strength. This one's 73. But we have 83 defense. And with Augury and Rigor, which also gives defense bonuses, and the fact that Rampage has been buffed or nerfed so that strength isn't as strong more anyway, I really wanted my mage and range to be stronger so that my tribe would be a lot better. So I'm a lot happy with this account. Done in 13 hours. Let's fucking go. And we are back. Clan man mode prevails again. Dinner man mode will not be stopped. We're missing some things from our previous max set, but they will come with time. We just need to get a couple kills and buy some more things. But without further ado, let's unlock Augury. And let's unlock Rigor. We now have the strongest account build for this bracket, and we will be back with a vengeance soon. Guys, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're trying to hit 100k by the Deadman finale, and I really do appreciate the support. And remember, the more my subscribers go up, the more tiers the crybabies will have for me. So don't let them down either.